In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some middleware pros with their big table performance. Will we upgrade to the latest version of awesomeness? Stay tuned to find out. For a company like Time Sliders, time series data is the backbone of their business model. But lately, it's been the bane of their users. Their main product is a performance instrumentation library that developers can add to their mobile apps to get runtime data from the field. Sadly, this process of building and displaying performance tables in the report web pages quickly became a bottleneck and a less than ideal experience for the majority of their clients. Thankfully, we didn't have to look too far to find the problem. Timestamps. Uh, see, every 100 milliseconds or so, their library would log the battery status, creating an entry into a big table where the row key consisted of the word battery plus a timestamp. Uh, now, while this seems like a straightforward implementation, it runs into a problem with hot spotting. Uh, see, when a row key for a time series includes a timestamp, then all of your writes will target a single node, it'll fill that node, and then move on to the next node in the cluster, filling that node, and so on. This pattern creates scenarios where performance suffers for your application. Addressing this problem means leveraging the concept of field promotion. Uh, this trick involves moving fields from the column data into the row key to make writes non-contiguous. Uh, for example, time sliders ended up promoting the user ID value from a column to an element of the row key. Uh, this change solved their hotspotting issue because of the fact that the identifier for users provided a more uniform distribution of row keys, splitting writes across multiple nodes in their cluster, reducing hotspotting, and improving performance. Now, in case uh, field promotion doesn't work for you, then check out the article linked in the description below where we cover a few other alternatives. Likewise, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.